Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Smash Bros. This uh, camera setting looks a little bit different. Normally you guys would never see like the edges or anything like that off of my backdrop. But today I will actually be showing you guys my weekend vlogs, what my life kind of looks like. This is more of like behind the scenes of what it is to be a wedding makeup artist here in like the New Jersey, New York area. So this is an idea that I have been wanting to do for a very long time. I've been wanting to show people what it is to actually be a makeup artist. I know sometimes it looks so like glam and fun and all of this, but it takes so much work, guys. I know it has been a really long time, at least for me, it feels like it's been such a long time since I've been able to really upload um, content as much. I know there has been gaps within my channel where I tell you guys like I am so sorry that I've been away because I've been really busy and it's not something I just say to just say like things really do get really crazy, really hectic and I feel like what better way to make people understand that being a makeup artist is hard than just showing you guys like the behind the scenes of what we go through. Also, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Adrienne or Smash Rush. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to also follow me on Instagram at smashbrush underscore at the very end. That is actually where I post a lot of my makeup looks and also where I show a lot of like my brides and the work that I do. So yeah, guys, oh my gosh, I'm excited. I finally get to show you guys behind the scenes. So if this is a video that you guys are interested in, then just keep watching. And without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> I can't even move. So today is the first day of the weekend. Today we are Friday um, and I did have a wedding this morning, but it was at my studio. And for tomorrow and Sunday, I do have a weddings going on throughout the day as well. So I think today's the perfect day to really start vlogging. So right now it's just about 10.30 p.m. I already packed everything, cleaned, everything's like set and ready to go for the morning because I do have to wake up really early tomorrow. But what I always like to do is one, make sure my clothes are like ready to go for the next day. Um, I usually try to make sure my hair is good too. The curls are kind of falling off a little bit or they will at least by tomorrow just because just if I'm right, it's supposed to be rainy. So I'm gonna try to make my curls just a little, a little bit tighter. And that's basically it guys. That is like kind of my little secret of like how I make sure everything's like good up and going. I feel like today I finally had the time to like do this really cute and like full makeup look. I know this will not be the case for tomorrow and Sunday just because when it's super early weddings, honestly, I don't do my makeup as much. And especially with us having to wear masks, things get a little bit more difficult, but um, Guys, it feels so nice. I can't wait till I get to like wear lipstick again. Obviously, I won't be able to show you guys like every, every single detail, but I will definitely be trying my best to show you the most that I can. Obviously, I do have permission from all of these brides to go ahead and record for their day and take pictures and all of that. So yeah, I'm really excited. Hey guys, good morning. I'm really sleepy right now. And um, just woke up like, what time is it? Right now it's 5.20. I actually kind of like overslept for about like, like 10 minutes, which I know doesn't seem like that much, but every minute counts. So right now I just gotta like wash up, brush my teeth, put on my contacts. I'm gonna do like a soft kind of glam today. Um, definitely gonna lash it up because it is a very long day today. Sorry also if my energy is a little bit low, this is just how I am. I can honestly leave my eyes closed like this forever. Mm. Okay, so I just like irritated the crap out of my eye, but whatever. <sighs> okay, so I've got about like 15 minutes to really get myself together. Um, luckily I already did my hair last night so even if I were to walk out like this like I'm fine I'm probably just gonna run my hands through because I did make these curls like very very tight gonna get ready soft glam honestly the biggest trick is just do it up with your lashes girl because when it's this early it's like ugh, why am I doing this to myself 
No, I'm kidding. I totally love my job, but um, this is just one of those things where I'm like, I just wish the day started like at 12, you know? Not like 5 a.m. No, but it's okay. <laughs> This is basically my completed look. I This is as put together as I'm gonna be this morning. So I need to change really quickly because we are quickly running out of time and I will be right back. So I know it's like really dark out. It's so sad because it's already 6 a.m. which I feel like normally around this time it starts getting at least like some blue seeping in. There is like nothing. And also, I'm sorry for this really horrible lighting. I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, I just went to order Starbucks. We actually have to make a little bit of time because things are running a little bit behind with the bridal party, but it's totally fine. I'd rather be early than to be late. I'm not a super heavy breakfast type of person. I'm also not like the biggest coffee person either, but I do love their frappuccinos. I feel like they're cold, they wake me up. So, yeah, let's hold it over. And we made it to Starbucks. Hi, good morning. Adrian? Thank you. Perfect, thank you so much. This is what I get every single morning. Well, not every single morning, but when I have a long morning. It is a cafe vanilla frappuccino. Did I just say villa? Dude, I'm not a morning person, but get it together, Adrian. You gotta get to work. Um, whipped cream, caramel drizzle, so freaking good. I am not a hot coffee morning person. I feel like I need something cold to really wake me up, so this. This is good. If you guys get it, tag me and let me know what you think. All right, guys, so I just made it to the location. We are at the Courtyard Mary in Princeton. Um, Bright says the girls are running still a little bit behind. Totally fine, so I'm just gonna unpack. All right guys, so this is everything I bring. I have my light in here, bag, lipsticks, a couple of extra stuff, and my trusty chair. Literally, this is how I take everything. Ugh. Like this, go like this, and boom, ready to go. Hello, good morning. Hi. Hi. Don't mind me, I'm like Hi. vlogging and stuff. Hey, this is Hi, how are you? Hi. Hey, Hi. happy wedding day. Good morning. I, I cleaned up this chair. Oh, this is. No, this table right here is like perfect. So thank you so much. Pepper okay, wants to go. I guess I'm going well, first. Well, I think I'm going to do a touch up, so it's like totally fine. <laughs> Is that your headpiece? Can I see? 
This is my headpiece, but she's debating which one to wear. Obviously. Uh, for you? Or for her? For me. No, no, for her. What are you doing to her? I can't wear this. Oh, no, no, I, I was just gonna say, I'm like, dang. Messy up. up. <laughs> Messy up for me, or like, up. Uh, it depends, because this one looks more flexible, but this one's like a lot more spot. like now so i gotta clean this up figure it out beautiful day it turned out everyone's ready congratulations enjoy bye bye ladies bye have fun guys let's head out yay yeah she's out of the set so this is the only thing like we pack up so much stuff Clearly you can hear my breathing. And on top of that, I have to head back to the studio. <sighs> Guys, this is the limit. This is, this is the life. It's so hard to vlog this and carry everything that I carry. But just so you guys can see it a little bit better, hand over here, and this is my chair. So I had it carrying like this. But I'm gonna put this down for a second because I need to pack everything inside correctly, but I'll show you guys later. All right guys, so back to what I was saying. That was, that was not too bad, just towards the end it got a little hectic, but it's kind of like what we're used to. My, oh my gosh, my skin looks really oily and obviously it's the whole mask wearing and stuff like that. But I honestly feel like wearing makeup helps against breakout. It's just, if I have something like a little bit too dewy, then it's like rubbing around. So I don't know. It's a tiring guy. I'm tired. Um, so it is exactly 11.15. Time I have anticipated. It's a 30 minute drive um, to the studio. I have to head to the studio. Thankfully, I left everything already clean. So I just have to bring everything inside. Just re-sanitizes all my brushes and just everything, you know, just especially with everything going on. I'm just happy I get to breathe again and sorry for the mess guys but i wanted to show you guys real behind the scene footage so i really have to head out now 30 minute drive i'll get there at 11 45 15 minutes unpack and the girl where i'm i don't know if i mentioned this but i'm doing a makeup lesson so that will be from 12 to about 3 30 4 o'clock ish um so i'm excited and I'll, I'll try to see if i can vlog a little bit of that but i'm not gonna promise anything but yeah guys that's basically it happy saturday all right guys so just waiting on the client to come and we will be starting our class soon so i'm going to try to vlog as much as i can but i'm not sure if i will let's see all right so here we have miss carolina <laughs> and then we have our model here today so we're going to be doing a nice like i think we want to do like a nice soft glam but here go ahead close your eyes for me so this would be like her before and open your eyes. So we're gonna kind of go through everything, skincare and all of that. I hear she's already killing it. So stay tuned. getting there look how pretty her eyes look and her lips we're doing just a nice overline nobody's gonna know <laughs> insider okay so this is our model afterwards 
so good, so pretty. Girl, you killed it. <laughs> Alright guys, and I'm back at the studio. I didn't exactly get to tell you guys how this day went or like what happened, but you guys knew that I had my 12 p.m. bridal like uh, makeup artistry lesson. So we got to finish it and I did get to show you guys a little bit of that. It was so nice. She did so good. And we were just practicing on different like eye shapes and different textures so she was such a great model and i honestly loved that look so literally afterwards and i didn't get to vlog this because i was just in such a rush but i had to run home change up and we were going to a uh an engagement surprise party <laughs> ready yeah you guys are gonna love this one you can take it off two three surprise <laughs> And oh my gosh like the time that I was supposed to be there had to be like the same time that like they were coming because it was a surprise and it was a lot guys like I have not had a chance to actually sit down and like do nothing so I'm I'm really tired like I don't even know how I'm recording this at this point point. and on top of that because I have a wedding tomorrow I didn't get a chance to pack everything up so I had to come from the engagement party I had to come here to the studio again um, and then <laughs> and I gotta clean everything from the lesson make sure everything's nice and sanitized then I get to go home I know people get a little bit confused as far as to like where my studio is some people think it's at home but it's not here little preview of what I have to do next it's not at home it's um, like an office studio I'm so grateful I'm just so tired and my like under eye my bags like everything's just like seeping in through at this point tomorrow I have to be up at 6 no we have to be there at 6 a.m. she's about 50 minutes away so I have to be up around 4ish a.m. or so. <sighs> so let's get to it, guys. Good morning, guys. This has probably got to be the worst feeling ever. And it's when you wake up super early in the morning. It, it's 4.47 right now, a.m. And your significant other is just sleeping. Like, wow. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> guys this is Gabby she's helping me out today this is our stuff we are in the Double Tree Hotel in Jersey City we got a room we gotta go to room 1114 I think hi, hi good hi, morning hey this is a uh, Gabby by the hi. way she's just helping me out did you get any sleep last night yeah yeah so, so I love yeah yeah they were just telling me they're like are you doing maureen's i was all like yeah i am <laughs> yeah let me know where it's best to set up i could do right there yeah anywhere in this room yeah yeah this is perfect okay let's just set up so i don't know if i've officially i mean i kind of showed you guys a little bit before but this is gabby she's the og assistant <laughs> And the ones that have answered your emails because <laughs> with covid it's been crazy but girls freaking Hi. love gabby so yeah right now we're just waiting on some of the other people to come forward so i figured this would be a great time to like record a little bit um but it was awesome because they already had their own director's chairs i have a great big table today the bride gave us some coffee so it's gonna be a good day Yes, we got mom of the bride getting her hands on. Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> and now we got Miss Bride next. Let me see. Close your eyes. This is her official before. <laughs> Let me see. Go ahead. Open your eyes. All right. And stay tuned for the after. All right. Gabby being the OG. Helping me clean my brushes. You have an no idea how much this helps me out. Okay. Bride's getting because her I hair done. Yeah. Here, let's check like, like them brighten this up a little bit. Now we gotta put this dress yes. on. We still have to take 
Girl, let them know where they can follow you at. Me? Yes. Oh, now Minnie's here? Awesome. set to go it was fun a long day. it was yeah it's a long day but there was such a great like group True. yeah like i was laughing Love. most of the time they were um, funny. yeah yeah they really were oh oh oh, oh. wait am i in the oh, no oh 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 okay got it <laughs> i'm like wait a second all right we just Damn. gotta pay out all right let me get the, the little ticket hi all right thank you so much you have my jacket? Yeah. My sweater? Oh my god, I was about to be like, no! <laughs> Gabby's the OG, man. Y'all need a Gabby in your life. Always need a Gabby. Always need a Gabby in oh. your life. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. When they told me to take off my mask, I was like, damn. I knew I should have done my full face because I did it yesterday and I was like, okay, well, let me just do it for myself. Today we had to be up so early. It was like 4 a.m. So I was like, oh, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do my full face today. I'm just gonna do like eyelashes like yesterday and they were like, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no! Nah! <laughs> Honestly, this air feels like amazing. Like, I know it's not cold, but. Mm -mm. Like, it feels fresh. I'm in a hotel room, and I'm like, it's freezing, and I'm like, please don't turn on the AC. I'm gonna die from the heat stroke. Like, so, I didn't get to show you guys yesterday because I was in a rush. But um, normally, I bring my own chair, uh, my light. Got my lipstick bag, sign. This is just extra luggage. Most of my foundations are in here. So I can put it right on top. And I got this super bag. I got this bag, like. Yeah, that's basically it. I try to have most of my trunk clean. I mean, I have like. I'm gonna say I'm a jumper cables, and then that's basically it. But this trunk is made just for my stuff. <laughs> to come to a Peruvian restaurant called Eliman. I know what I want. I'm gonna get Lola. 
All right, so I was mad hungry and started eating already. But this, guys, is called Lomo Saltado. So it's basically beef, fries, onions, tomatoes. This is a specialty cream that I don't really know how to explain it. <laughs> and she got the same thing. And then this is our Peruvian um, soda. Yeah. So pretty good guys. We're gonna put this down. We're gonna eat. We're gonna enjoy this stuff because we deserve it. <laughs> I am finally back. I was so tired and I was just over my lashes. And I was like, I I'm just gonna take them off. Best part about coming home is getting back to be with my baby. Being able to be baby by him. There's been so many times where he just like cooks for us or he does something like extra. He's bought me flowers before. Mm -hmm. He checks up on me. He makes sure I'm doing good. And dang, yo, I look. I look tired. I look tired. This is the first time I see you without lashes when you get home. I'm not trying to fake this, you know, like this is how I'm legit feeling and how I look like and how it is plenty of times. So this is it guys. See even like how like oily I look. I'm not even the oily type, but then again all these masks be like ruining me. <laughs> you going on a tangent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she told me that she was doing this whole uh wedding vlog thing and I figured I'd let you guys know or I'd let you guys see for yourself what exactly happens when she gets home. Yep. That's the bulk of it. She usually just goes straight to bed, well, eats, showers, and jumps straight to bed. She's exhausted. <laughs> Wait, Zuka. Doesn't he have the sweetest eyes? Wait, come on, please. I got a full face of makeup today. Let them see those beautiful eyes. Why is that sun hitting him perfectly? Okay, let me go ahead and hey, put this down here for a second. So I have tried showing you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have tried showing you guys the most that I could with weddings. Um, there's obviously a lot of things that I couldn't show you guys. Uh, for example, I didn't show you guys all of the bridesmaids and the mother of the brides and just family members that I had to do in between. Tried to focus a little bit more on just the bride. Every wedding situation is a little bit different, um, but one of the things that I didn't get to actually show you guys, which I wish I would have, but there's so many things going through my mind while like I'm in the middle of work, but actually on the first day where um, where you know I went to Starbucks, grabbed my breakfast and all of that, that was the only time I ate until about like five in the afternoon. And that was obviously, that was obviously my fault for not like bringing any snacks or anything like that. It was just such a long day and there was like no time to stop to like get something to eat. Um, and it happens. There's days where we don't go for hours eating or there's days where, you know, we have just been standing and nonstop also for hours. Also, so many of our weekends that we do have to give up. For the most part, like if friends ever kind of want to do like a little weekend getaway where usually people have off, we don't have them off. For example, uh, after when I had to go to that engagement party, I was walking in right as the couple was coming in and thankfully they were blindfolded so it all worked in but I'm usually the person that if I have to go to a wedding or someone's birthday party on a Saturday or Sunday, I'm usually late because I have to work and then get ready and do all of this stuff. I'm not going to go into so much detail, obviously, but what I'm saying is what we do is is fun and I do love it, but it's not just all fun. It's not all glamorous. It's not all what you only see like on social media. There's a lot of sacrifice and a lot of hard effort that we do have to put in. There's weekends where we don't get to stay with our family as much, you know, for example, with my husband. I don't get to see him as much as people might think I do just because my weekends are gone by the time I come back I'm tired and yes I love to take naps and then I wake up around 8 just to get ready for the next day and then if it's a weekdays usually we have tons of emails that are waiting for us that if we don't answer in a timely manner then people get upset with us and this is just going a little bit more and further further in but what I'm saying is okay, I'm gonna let him go He's, he's been wanting to go back and forth, but we are currently getting ready to go away on like just a really small getaway. 
We're gonna have dinner tonight and it's just gonna be an awesome date night. We're gonna be staying away somewhere else. Um, so it's a lot of fun, but it is a Monday going on to a Tuesday. So it's like super random, but those are probably like, my weekdays are probably my only days where I can actually go out and stay somewhere and do something. There's days where he calls out of work and we just make things happen and spend time with each other because honestly, I feel like our lives would be so separate <laughs> if it wasn't for that. It's for that reason why sometimes like even considering starting a family could be a little bit difficult just because I'm here like, okay, when will I have time for this and that? And obviously anything's possible and I'm just speaking on at this point, but this is just things that go through our mind. And by no means am I trying to come off as if I'm complaining or I hate it because this is obviously my choice. I honestly don't think I could see myself doing something else. I love what I do. I am so grateful to be in the position where I am today. I would have never imagined to be able to make it at this point in my life where I can just quit everything and decide to just stick to makeup but i know there's a big misconception of how we live our lives and how easy it looks like to be a makeup artist there's a lot of moving parts into being able to make makeup artistry your full-time job if there's any brides or any clients or anyone who has ever gotten their makeup done by me seriously from the bottom of my heart thank you so so much because you guys are making my dreams come true you know this is what i have wanted to do for such a long time and something that felt so impossible and it's just it's been an amazing journey and I would not give it up for anything if you've watched this video up to this point thank you so much because I know like for a fact this is probably gonna be like a 30 minute video uh, one because I like to talk a lot it's just how I am and uh, two there's just a lot that I've tried to show you guys and I try not to cut out too many things but obviously I was not gonna make this like a two-hour video I hope this was a good insight on the realities of what it is to be a makeup artist and for all of my aspiring makeup artists I hope this was a little bit of an eye-opener and this isn't to scare you away or anything like that but there are so many things that people don't tell you about when it comes to choosing this as a career. I hope this got to help you out in some way. Uh, but guys, that is basically it. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also follow me on Instagram. It is at smashbrush underscore at the very end. If you guys wanna see anything else related to kind of this vlog or if you guys would like to see more work vlogs like let me know i would love to show you guys more of this kind of content but that's basically it thank you so much again and i will see you guys on my next video